Taurus, welcome to my channel and today we are doing your finance and career reading for January 2020 and once again happy new year, happy new year 2020. Hope this year brings you a lot of success, a lot of growth, a lot of changes and helps you be a new you. All right, so Taurus, let's see your finance, how does it look like? How does money look for Taurians? Okay. All right. Let's pull some tarot to clarify this before we start our reading. Show me for Taurus. What messages do you have for my Taurians? As we can see, what you're leaving behind in 2019 or what you have left behind is, uh, I see there was some message, okay, something that was concerning because you have the aid of fire with the message of concern. So there could be, as the year ended, you could have had some options, some messages, official messages. They could be emails, they could be notif notices if you're in business, something which is of concerning. They weren't good and they just happened or they just came when you were least expecting them. So this was like uh, suddenly there was, you know, you, you didn't, you, maybe you, uh, for, you know, you were foreseeing them, but you didn't know that they will come in so early, but they just came in. Okay. And you were concerned with whatever came in. This has to do with your work and finance. So this could be something, some issue in contracts. This could be some issue with some legal documents or this could be a message from your superiors. Something happened which was uh, not expected at that point of time and it's kind of came in when you were least expecting it and this was definitely of something of concern. Now what you don't know and what you're not aware of and it's coming towards you is uh, firstly there is a sudden chance of earning good money. Okay. There is some unexpected income. So you could be in for a bonus, an incentive, more sales than you were expecting. Something, something very unexpected can come your way. Okay, and this is something good because you have the page of fire to uh, support it. So this is about, this could be a new um, opportunity too, which you are not seeing. Maybe this is uh, something new. You're not aware of it. It could be a new job offer. It could be a new business idea. It could be uh, a new idea, okay? Something very uh, creative. And this can also mean page of fire here. This could be something outside your city. This could be something outside your domain. Something new. Something where you have to be outgoing, where you have to go. So... If you are in a role where you talk, you have to talk less, and uh, you know you you're in and you you do work, but you don't communicate. This is a very different kind of role here. You have to communicate. Or if you have a desk job, you could be in a travel kind of role, uh, or you could have to even go out. Okay, you have to. This is like a test of your confidence. But this is definitely about a person or an opportunity which demands you to look out, look beyond where you are. Okay, and this is unexpected. You're least expecting it and it will come towards you. The challenge here though is Taurians, something, you, you have some negative thoughts. 
you know, about certain things or you have over expectations about certain things. There is always, you always feel trapped. How can I do this? How will I do this? This is a challenge for me. That is a challenge for me. So that sense of feeling trapped, that's the devil energy. That is what you have. And this is what is a challenge for you. Things are not that bad as you are expecting, but you have this, how can I, how will I, uh, I don't know, I have too less time, too less money, too less uh, clarity. You're always thinking, you always have this fear-based thoughts. That could be a challenge this month. And also partnerships could be a challenge this month. You have the marriage card here as challenge. So this could mean partnership. Especially if you are in a partnership with an opposite sex. So you, you could be the female in a partnership with a man. You could be a man in partnership with a woman. But really sex doesn't matter. But it is about partnerships. If you are in a partnership business or if you are in a team where two people are working, be careful of that. Partnerships could be a challenge this month. If you're planning to team up with somebody from your opposite sex in terms of work, for, for work-related uh, things, that there could be some challenges there. So there could be some ego tassels there. You know, you think a way, they think a different way. There could be ego tassels and you might feel that you're trapped in this partnership or maybe you're focusing too much on, uh, you know, sometimes we have partners like this. Somebody is very materialistic and the other person is about uh, long-term vision. So their clashes happen. So I see a, that kind of clash happening with you, Taurians, this month. Also, your way ahead is, uh, you know, stop feeling trapped. Stop feeling that there's no way out. Stop feeling that you are trapped in the situation. You're trapped in this partnership. There's no way out. Stop feeling that, uh, you know, because of that message that came in that I'm going to lose my job or I'm going to lose this contract. Stop feeling those entrapments and learn to have faith in your beliefs. Learn to have faith in your hopes and dreams. The star is here. So this tells me that be positive. Don't be negative. With the ego here, with the devil energy here, you're feeling a bit negative. But this is actually the time. Remember, be optimistic. You're in the right path. Everything is happening for greater good. So there are some good, happy term, times coming towards you. This is the time you need to do long-term planning. Don't think short-term. Don't think of today, tomorrow, this month. Think long-term. Think six months down the line, one year down the line, five years down the line. Think of those things and don't feel trapped. Come out of this trapped mentality, okay? And what is coming towards you, Taurians, in terms of money, again, I see a two of fire. So there could be some decision making. You have to make a decision now. Either there's a challenge in your partnership, so you have to go for a new partnership. Or if you have been going solo, it's time you need to have a partner with you, okay? Get somebody to help you. But two of fire also means, uh, this is like the two of wands. So this means new contracts, new partnerships, something new is going to come. But you have to continue moving forward. You cannot be stuck here. You cannot be stuck with things that didn't work out or things which were a bit concerning or with the existing partnership that you have. Or, you know, if, if there have been ego clashes in the partnership, don't worry about those things because you just you keep doing what you're doing. Keep moving forward because what is coming towards you is very good. There could be a new contract. There could be, uh, and you have courthouse here, so there could be some legal contracts coming towards you. There could be a breaking or making of a new partnership. That's the reason the courthouse is here. So you might have to break up old company, an old partnership by going to the court or getting some court paperwork done and get a new partnership by, again, getting some court paper done. So there could be some matters of litigation that needs to be sorted this month. And also, uh, this is about new partnerships. So if you are in a partnership business, you might be taking on a new partner or doing away with this one. And if you are going solo, you might have a new partner coming towards you or there's a new contract coming towards you. But something new is definitely coming towards you. Don't be concerned with this message that came at the end of 2019. Just focus. Remember something good and something unexpected is coming towards you. But just don't live in your fear. Okay? 
All right, so Taurus, let's see two messages for you. What we have when it comes to your finance and career. Especially show me two messages for my Taurians. Looks like things are lined up and things are going to come, but you are fearing because it's all unknown to you. So don't don't fear. Have faith. Things are looking up. By the end of January, things are looking up. New things are coming your way. That's the reason all things are not working. Okay? So Taurus, let's see two messages for my Taurians. All right, here you go. You have air. So work with the element of air. Cut through the core of the situation and see the truth. Maybe you're not seeing the truth. Air is also about a thought process. So pay attention to your thoughts. Where are they going? Are they into too many material things? Are they thinking very petty? Are they always caught up in conflicts? Are they always in fear? So work on those things because work with the element of air. Okay? And also little luxuries. Start enjoying little things in life. Okay? Generate luxurious experiences and surroundings. So start experiencing little things in life. Don't focus too much on the big picture right now. Big picture will fall in place. First focus on that first hundred dollars, first thousand dollars, first ten thousand dollars before you jump towards the hundred K and a million and a billion. Okay? And long term planning. Think ahead. Think of the future and uh, make some plans for long term and go for a new partnership or review the partnership that you have and take one step at a time. All right. So Taurus, this was your finance and career reading for January 2020. Once again, a very happy new year and I'll see you with your other videos. Till then, have fun. Bye.